Can you ever not find any good footage with pre-keyed and no black background, but you've got footage with black backgrounds? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of black backgrounds on clips that would start out like this and end up like this. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to get rid of black backgrounds on effects in iMovie. iMovie 09 works a little bit better, but I'm using iMovie 11, and it just has one extra step. So before we even start, you want to make sure that under Preferences, like always, Advanced Tools is checked. Otherwise, you will not be able to complete the steps needed to do this tutorial. So you got to get your uh, footage. Um, select your effect. Um, I'm going to use this muzzle flash right here. On clips that we got And place it, as always, right where you want it. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to find a place during this video with muzzle flash, click, and crop. You want to crop this to about, and make sure that the left side of the crop box is right where this clip ends so that it'll be easier for you to position the muzzle flash right on the muzzle. Then you're going to oops <laughs> So then you're going to get a green picture to use as a background and put your effect, drag it over it so it's already positioned in the right spot. Then you can get rid of all the extra green and you're going to change the video effect on this one to raster. Then, if you're in iMovie 11 or 12, you're going to make this green pretty dark green, very low green. And if you're in iMovie 09, just kind of match it with the raster effect. But if you're in iMovie 11, make it pretty dark. Then, you're going to share, export movie. I usually do it as this, but if you're in a regular, like if you're making your own big movie, video, whatever, you should probably export it as the highest HD. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to export it with a little less quality. Then I'm going to re-import it into iMovie. And okay. and bring this video in here. Then what you're going to do is select video, drag the green all the way up, and then re-export your video. The only problem with this method is that it's tedious, boring, and it takes a while. But it has pretty good results. Then you're going to put your footage back in. You're going to re-import this into iMovie for the last time. If you're in iMovie 11, you didn't have to do that extra step. If you are in iMovie 11, like I am, you have to do that extra step of dragging the green up and then pulling it back out. But if you're in iMovie 09, you, you could have skipped that and just done what I'm about to do now. Before you put it in your video, you're going to drag the green yet again all the way up. And you know what this? 
select green screen. I end up like this. If you get this, you're going to want to just do that one more time, what I did. Dragging the green all the way up. Exporting it. And again, as you do this, the quality will get lost, unless if you import it at the highest standard. But for purposes of time, I'm not doing that right now. You lose quality every time. Now, finally, you're going to get your video here that always has, that already has a pretty light background. That's why you have to make it dark. Here, and as it might not work well, since you already have. There you have it. Can you ever not find it? Your effect now does not have a black background, even though it took a little while. And if you drag it right where you want it, there you have it. It, uh, this, this. It will end up without a black background. And you'll be able to use it for just about anything. You just have to kind of redo that stuff again. So, thanks for watching. Write and subscribe.